Hey, blessings to everybody. I hope all is well. I got something I want to talk about this morning and give you a quick word. Jesus said that if we continue his word, we'll be his disciple, right? And we should know the truth and they'll free us, right? So the Bible says that the truth is just frees us. The reason why most Christians are bound in sin, they still fornicating, going to clubs, cussing, masturbating, watching porn, just all the sins in the world, right? The reason why most people can't get free is not because they're not able to or there's no way out of sin. People choose not to accept the truth of the word of God. People really got the devil deceiving them, thinking that sin is something that they can't defeat. Jesus defeated sin on the cross. I need you to know that. Jesus defeated sin on the cross when he died for our sins. He said, it is finished. And so what we must understand is that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, right? So if Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light, then if we follow him, and the Bible tells us that the truth is going to set us free, then why can't you get free from your sins? Why do so many people who call themselves Christians fight so hard against holiness? They fight so hard against sin in the aspect of they try to make sin seem like it's okay. You are not a Christian if you think that it's okay to sin. You not a real biblical Christian if you think that we have to sin and there's no way out. That's not a Christian. If you want to live in sin, then you might as well just be a devil. Just go hard all the way in the world. If that's what you want to do, God said it's fine. God not forcing nobody to get saved. You understand that? You got a choice. This is a choice. That's why the Bible says only a few people are going to be saved. You want to know why? Because on the, it's going to be few people that's going to choose to deny themselves and that's willing to let go of any person, any place, any thing for God. Not everybody wanted to let go of their fleshly pleasures that they like. Not everybody want to let go of people in their life who they love that's not good for them. Not everybody going to do that for God. Some people going to try to say, well, I, well, that's my friend. I've been knowing them for all these years, and I'm not going to stop being friends with them just because, okay, that's fine. But you're not going to be saved because the Bible says bad company corrupts good character. You can't hang around people who not walking in the light as a Christian, as a true Christian, who live in, who, who actually live in holy. See, the, God said the church has got away from holiness. Holiness means to live separated from this uh, the world. We don't supposed to be like the world, act like the world, or dress like the world. God said, listen, you better get it together because you cannot be saved. And you call yourself a Christian and you still in sin. There's no way in the Bible where it says that we can be saved in sin. So the question is to you, are you really a follower of Jesus or are you just talking? Because the Bible says if you continue this word, if you study, really study God's word and pray and ask you to show you the truth, you will find out a lot of this stuff you believe in, in this world that these preachers taught is lies. And it's the reason why people in sin are on their way to hell. So learn the truth. There's only way to be free from your sins. Study your word and pray. Because the end is coming. On the real Christian, biblical Christians, the Bible says those who are born of God don't commit sin. I think it's 1 John chapter 3, verse 9. Those who are born of God don't commit sin. Why? Because God's seed is in them. His word is in them. And when you hold the word of God dear to your life and you stand on and obey it, how can you sin? When you walk in the Bible says walk in the spirit. You won't walk in the flesh. The spirit, the Bible said his his word is spirit and life. So if we walk in the spirit, obey God's word, then we, that's how we avoid sin in our life. That's the Bible says um also we gotta resist the devil and he'll flee. I got a video on that coming up. So we gotta learn how to walk in the uh the spirit. And therefore we won't do what our flesh want to do. Our flesh want to sin. But once you know the truth and you know that sin is wrong, you understand what sin is, it's no excuses after that. If you sin after you know the truth, it's because you willfully sin, and meaning that you sin and knowing there's consequences to what you're doing. So stop playing and get it right.
because only those who do the will of God, those who truly deny themselves and follow Jesus wholeheartedly with everything in them and live holy will be saved. And everybody else who playing church, who playing around, going to be left behind and end up in hell. So don't let that be you. Get your life right. Repent because time is running out. Share this video to help bless others. Amen.